The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you, but only if you aid me and convince my people. I've decided I'm gonna help you. I knew you would help me. I'll show you how to get into the tower, but first, you need to convince my people to end their service to Molag Baal. And to do that, you'll have to prove yourself to my clan. How will I go about proving myself? In order to help my people, you're probably going to have to do some things you may not like. You need to accomplish a deed of honor before they'll even let you near them. Otherwise, you'll be greeted by a hail of arrows. What's a deed of honor? I don't want to get into details with the Lamia standing nearby. Meet me at the bridge to the east of here. We'll talk there. Just be careful. Any other Lamias you meet won't be as friendly as Zignith. Very well, I will meet you at the bridge. I'll send Zignith on her way. Hopefully she won't get suspicious and alert her sisters about all this. I then found this way, Shrine. I then approached the bridge where we were supposed to meet. Sorry I was delayed. It was harder to get rid of Zignith than I thought it would be. I then talked to her when she arrived. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, I remember. Before my people will even listen to you, you need to perform an honor deed. It has to be an act that benefits my clan. Something they would expect one of us to be able to accomplish. Do you have anything you were recommending? To really make an impression, you need to hurt the Lamias. Kill them, burn their eggs, and defeat their champion. Even our strongest warriors haven't been able to accomplish that. Do these things, and that should be enough to get you an audience. It sounds like just defeating the Lamia champion should be sufficient, no? Maybe. That's certainly more than any of my people have been able to do. It won't be easy, though. She's a powerful old snake. Her cave is at the highest point in the Lamia camp. Very well, I will go look for her there. I then proceeded onward to kill the champion Lamia. Oh no. Then fought the lane or something? And it. The champion is dead. Let's return to the camp where your friend was killed. There's a portal stone there that we can use to reach the council. So this is the outsider that Foranil has been dragging around the forest. Interesting. I wasn't expecting any of the Shadow Walkers to be here. They haven't attacked yet, so that's a good sign. Just don't do anything to make them nervous, alright? Why do you think they showed up all of a sudden like this? Well, I told you that killing Lamias would get their attention. You performed an honor deed. They respect that. Hopefully that respect will last long enough for you to help me before they decide to kill you. So what do you propose we do now? You stay here. I'll go see the council and give them the Lamia's head. That should be all the incentive they need to agree to listen to you. In the meantime, talk to the Wood Elves here. Any information you gain is just another arrow in your quiver. Thank you, I will do that. I'll return shortly. You'll be safe here, I promise. Why not get to know a few of these Shadow Walkers while I'm gone? I don't remember the last time I talked to an outsider. Killed one, sure, I do that all the time. But talk, that's a new one for me. I was born and bred in these woods, never ventured outside its borders. Always wonder what was out there. Help me convince the elders to break the vow and I will get you out of this place when we defeat Molag Ball. You don't honestly believe you can do that, do you? My people made a vow to protect this citadel long before I was born. The elders are ancient and stuck in their ways. They'd never agree to break our oath. Well, I need to convince them to leave and come with me. We get to see bright skies and clear water. I've only heard stories about such things. Listen, if you speak to Elder Elseril, show some compassion. Life on a council can be harsh and unforgiving. I understand. Thanks for your information. Farinil is like a sister to me. I almost convinced her to give up her foolish plan and then you showed up. Well, since you made it this far, we might as well try it her way. I guess any chance, no matter how remote, is worth the trouble. So what would you suggest that I do to get the council to listen to me? 
I hope I don't live to regret this. Inril is the oldest member of the Council. She's also the most willing to listen. But you have to show her some respect. Let her speak. Respond only when spoken to. That's all I can think of. Hope it helps. Thank you. I will try that. You don't look tough enough to have beaten the Lamia champion. But even a mighty storm starts with a light breeze. Still, an honor deed is an honor deed. Maybe the Council of Elders will actually agree to meet with you. Do you have any suggestions for when I see the Council? I'm not sure I should help you, but you seem to be on Farnil's good side. Maybe if I give you some advice, I'll get on her good side too. I recommend you try a little humor when you talk to Erthor. He's a dry old leaf, but he does like to laugh. Thank you, I will keep that in mind. You're lucky, outsider. The only thing keeping me from sticking my knife in you right now is our code. But if you think I'm going to help you, think again. I'd like to see you try it. You should just give me some information instead. You dare challenge me? You test my patience, fool. Be gone before I forget my manners and got you where you stand. Listen, I took the Lamia champion's head and I've still got room for another trophy. I like your confidence, outsider. You've got some bark on your hide. That's exactly what you're going to need if you go up against Elder Glynn. Don't take no for an answer and keep pushing him. Do that and he eventually gives in. Thank you for the advice. Good news. The Council has agreed to meet with you. The Council will see you, but this won't be easy. You have one chance to convince them, so make sure you put your best foot forward. My people, our future, depends on it. We can't continue to be prisoners in our own forest. Any last words of advice before I meet them? Dealing with the Council can be tricky. It's a collection of individuals, each with his or her own idiosyncrasies. They are devoted to Molag Baal and our oath of servitude. It won't be easy to convince them to break those ancient promises. So you think there's a good chance that they won't listen to me? You can't fail. You just can't. Were the Shadow Walkers down here helpful? Do you need to talk to them again? When you're ready, just use the portal behind me. Present a good argument and make it count. I'll do my best. I then entered the portal. I then talk to the Elder Enril. You have accomplished much, Outsider. Survived the moonless walk, performed an honored deed. Well done. I shall listen to your words and consider them with great respect. I promise you this much at least. Now, tell me, why are you here? You realize Moloch Ball has lied to you. He's never going to let you leave. Help, help me and I can get you back to Tamriel. You must understand. To simply accept the word of an Outsider, to turn our backs on everything we believe, you ask much, stranger. Still, Farreniel has been insistent about the very same concern. Tell me something to sway my opinion. My lady, Cold Harbor's chains rip through Nern. Valenwood will be destroyed anyways unless we do something. This news disturbs me. Thank you for sharing this information with us. Speak to the other elders while I consider what you've said. Thank you. I will go speak to them. I then spoke to Elder Elsevier. You poor child. Dealing with those disgusting Lamias as you navigated the moonless walk must have been so unnerving. Such horrible creatures. Now, sad little Farinil mentioned that you bring us news from Nern. What is it? Moloch Ball plans to destroy Nern. His, his invasion has already begun. Such terrible news. But how could I know that what you say is true? It makes no sense. Why would Morlog Ball destroy our beautiful and beloved Valenwood? I'm sorry, but I've seen the Daedric anchors. Thousands of people have already died. You must believe me. The poor animals that roam the Valenwood, the people, I... I shall consider what you have told me and pray for an end to the pain and suffering. Thank you for sharing this news with me. You're welcome. I then talk to Elder Earthor. This is a great privilege allowing you to stand here. 
Never before has an outsider been permitted to set foot on this platform. My daughter, however, was insistent that we speak with you. We shall hear what you have to say. Fenrir said there's a contract that binds you to Molag Ball. Yes, we have sworn to protect the passage that leads to the tower known as the Lightless Oubliette. In exchange, we have been given the gift of shadow walking. When our contract is fulfilled, the Daedric Prince shall send us back to Valenwood. I see how well it's worked out so far. What's a few hundred years when you're having fun, right? <laughs> well, well, yes. We still await our day of release. Hundreds of years, however, do not mean much in a place where lives are measured in eternity. What makes you think Molag Ball will break our agreement? I would never trust anyone who decorates Valenwood and the rest of Nurn with Daedric anchors. You have a wit about you, and your words have given me much to consider. Have a care, though. Valenwood was once my home. Speak to the other elders while I think about this. Thank you. I will go talk to them. I then talk to the last elder, Glula. Spew forth your lies and be quick about it. I have a great many things to contemplate today. Molag Bell is using you and he's going to destroy Valenwood. You need to leave now. That annoying Farnil has convinced you of her fables, hasn't she? I tire of this old argument. But you did perform an honor deed. I shall give you one chance to convince me that we are being duped. Go ahead. Listen here. I've seen the anchors and they're destroying Nern. You speak with confidence and conviction. Very well. I shall consider your words. A persistent fool may know more than an isolated genius. We shall see. Thank you, sir. We have heard enough. Use the portal and return to my daughter's side. You have given us much to discuss, outsider. Then use the portal to return. Upon returning, I talked to Fenrir. You're back. Tell me everything. Did it go well? Were you able to convince them? I think so. I spoke to each of the elders and they're discussing what to do now. Of course they are. That's what the council does. Sometimes I think that's all they ever do. But do you think they're going to help you? I told some jokes, made threatening remarks, turned on the charm. Uh, I think I did everything that the people told me to do, so yeah, I think we're good. Really? You're not serious, are you? Oh, may the spirits guide me through this dark hour. Well, we're about to find out what they thought. Here comes my father now. Yes, let's see. Outsider! Step forth and hear the decision of the Council of Elders. What have you decided, sir? The Council has discussed what you told us, debated your words from every angle, even drew upon Farineel's arguments from past meetings. Understand that we did not reach our decision lightly. So what have you decided, then? The Council can no longer ignore the truth happening around us. For too long we obeyed our vows and waited for a reward that will never be granted. Should we continue on our path, even after Valenwood is destroyed? Does that mean you're going to help us then? It means that your argument has convinced us. I sent runners to unlock the ruined passage that leads to the tower. My daughter said that you were interested in the place. I will also send a group of soldiers to aid you against Molag Ball. Thank you, that would be a great help. I then talked to Farah now. What did my father say? Did you convince them? Yes, I believe so. He said he agreed to help. Yes, you did it. You really did it. I've tried for so long to convince them, and now we can finally leave this wretched place. I can look upon a real sky. What did my father tell you to do? He said he sent someone to a tower to open the door. I apparently need to go there next. When the council finally makes a decision, they act with speed and certainty. I suggest you head for the door to the ruined passage as quickly as you can. I'm going to talk to my father. I want to be a part of the group we send to help you. Thanks, I hope I'll see you there. I then continued onward towards the tower. I then entered the ruined path. I then found another light of emergency. Excellent. 
Bring the crystal with you. You will need it to free me from my bonds. I then talk to this projection. I have waited for centuries. And waited and waited. Do you know how boring that can be? But now, you are here. Just as Meridia foretold. You're saying Meridia knew I was coming? The Radiant One knows many things. She knew that one day the city she plunged into Cold Harbor would serve her purpose. At first, she thought I would fulfill that prophecy. But I failed. And now, I need your help. Where are you projecting this image from? Have no fear. I am as alive as you are. Molag Baal has preserved me so that I can endure his endless tortures. His cruelty knows no bounds. I can't slip free of this lightless oubliette, but I have managed to send my projection to meet you. How would I set you free? I knew you were the one I was waiting for. Molag Baal locked me away for a reason. He fears me. Once you set me free, we can make him regret the day he made us his enemies. 